The book, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne, takes place in the year 1866. Everyone in Europe and America is talking about a mysterious creature that has been sinking ships. Finally, the U.S. government decides to intervene and tasks the Abraham Lincoln to capture and identify the creature. On board of the ship are Pierre Aronnax, a renowned scientist along with his servant, Conseil, and Ned Land, the Canadian harpooner. The USS Abraham Lincoln is attacked by the creature. Aronnax, Conseil, and Land go overboard. The three men find themselves on top of the mysterious creature, which is actually an ironclad submarine vessel. They are taken on board and placed in a cell. The trio meet Captain Nemo, the captain of the vessel, known as the Nautilus. He tells them they can stay on board the ship and enjoy freedom as long as they return to the cell if asked. They are never to leave the vessel again. Ned Land says he will not promise that he will not try to escape. Captain Nemo treats the men, especially Aronox, very well. They are clothed and fed and may wander around the vessel at their leisure. Aronox is thrilled by Nemo's vast library. The men spend their time observing sea life through observation windows. Aronox studies and writes about what he sees outside these windows. During their time on the Nautilus, the men experience many exciting adventures. They hunt in underwater forests, visit an island angry natives visit the city of Atlantis submerged deep in the ocean and fish for giant pearls worth millions and millions of dollars. However, there are also many upsetting events coupled with the odd and unpredictable behavior of Captain Nemo. One night, the men are asked to return to their cell. They are given sleeping pills and awake the next morning very very confused. Nemo asks Aronox to look at a crewman who has been severely injured. The man later dies and they bury him in the underground cemetery where many other crewmen have been laid to rest. On a voyage to the South Pole, the Nautilus becomes stuck in the ice. Everyone must take turns trying to break a hole in the ice so the vessel can go through. The ship almost runs out of its oxygen supply and the men grow tired and lightheaded. How they escape just in time. In another instance, the vessel sails through an area heavily populated by giant squid. When one of these creatures gets stuck in the propeller of a submarine, the men and the crew must fight off the squid with axes because they cannot be killed with bullets. While fighting, a crew member is killed by a squid, and Nemo is reduced to tears. The rising action occurs when Nemo attacks a warship. Aronox does not know which nation the warship belongs to, but is horrified when, Ar when Nemo sinks it. The men, decide, can, the men decide they must escape at all costs. One night, while off the coast of Norway, Aronox, Consul, and Led plan a rash escape. To their dismay, they realize they are heading towards a giant whirlpool, one that no ship has ever survived. Amazingly, in only a small dingy, they arrive safely. They awake in the hut of a fisherman, and at the conclusion of the story, Aronox is awaiting his return to France, where he originates from, and is writing his memoirs of his journey on Nautilus under the sea.